Hey ho neighbors, Rado Goji here. And I am still Silent Greg. Hey, welcome back to uh, Ocarina of Time. Were you not expecting to be Silent Greg when we came back? I, I thought the hover around lobby might have gotten to me <laughs> in between episodes. Oh look, this looks familiar. Oh, it's a it's a ship. A living ship. It's the it's the boat we saw earlier. Ah. So this this block was in the way, we couldn't come down. The here. boat of greed and hatred. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is is in this temple is associated with the greed and hatred of Hyrule. The block, of, the block of greed and hatred. That is a really interesting thing, though, because I don't want to carry the hover to I... get another fucking video. That is such an interesting thing, though, that apparently this like it gives you this hint at the beginning that this is going to be like the real story of Hyrule, like the fucking part in in. Uh, Thor Ragnarok, when she rips the fucking, the murals down and sees, like, the evil murals. Yeah. It. But, like, it never follows up on it. Spoilers for Thor Ragnarok. Yeah, spoilers for Thor Ragnarok. Spoilers for every fucking thing. It's my birthday. <laughs> God, if you, honestly, if you haven't seen Thor Ragnarok yet, yeah, you, 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 why are you alive? Even, like, like, even if you're not keeping up with the, with the Marvel Cinematic Universe. The Marvel Cinematic Universe. Yeah, uh, it, it should be behoove you to, uh, to see that movie. Because oh, yeah. It's, it's really, really fun. And it stands alone completely. I mean, it, it's, you don't have to have seen the other, um, six Marvel movies that were released in the last year. Do I have to actually play that way over here? Will that work? You have to Maybe. play a song about a boat. If this will... <laughs> 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 you kind of atonally warble until it tells you you did good. Oh, there he is. Yeah, no. Oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, oh, in the deck. Go for it. My nuts? <laughs> My leg. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yeah, I probably just need to check the beginning of it, but... Yeah, whatever. The thing is, like, you can't, like, lock onto the Skulltula, and it's, you know, too much work to aim it. <laughs> that scarecrow is like, thanks, pal, now I'm stuck in the dungeon. Just where I've always wanted to be. There are places where, like, two of him can spawn, and then there's, like, just two of the same scarecrow. What What is this? Is this Ganon's yacht? Uh, it's... it's is this the Stugats? It's the Stugats of... Of, 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 high greed, of greed and hatred. <laughs> so the Stugat. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how many people were thrown to their deaths off that thing throughout the course of the series? Zero. About that. Whatever. Oh, there it is. No. What in the world? Whoop. You see when they spoilers whack big pussy. That's what I was um, gonna pull up. Yeah, it was on a different boat. They were looking oh. at they were looking at a new boat. That's right. I haven't gotten that far in the rewatch. I thought that was like the end of season two. Yeah, I'm like three episodes. Oh, I thought you said you were at season three. No, that's uh, all right. I've seen it before, so you can't spoil me on anything. I'll just spoil everyone else about what happens. This isn't fair. That's two on one. No, it's not. Crom, I do not pray. <laughs> I'm not the tongue for it. But one stood against many. And if you do not help me, Crom, then to hell with you. Good, gonna... That's a good movie, folks. Oh, yeah. Car Conan the Barbarian. Uh, also, I'm like one of the only people alive who likes Conan the Destroyer. I've never seen it. It's not as good. It's the sequel, right? It is the sequel. Um, it's not as good, um, but it is still fun. Uh, it's got Grace Jones in it, and Grace Jones is awesome and everything. Oh, fuck yes. And, uh, you know who else is in it? Who? Wilt Chamberlain. Wilt Chamberlain. <laughs> the name I still use on all of my fucking sign-ups for things I don't actually care about. Wilt Chamberlain. If you want me to sign up for this, I put in my, my, my backup, like, my, my second email that I use for all the shit that is just gonna be spam. And yeah, and it's like, what's your birthday? Uh, April twentieth, nineteen sixty nine, or twenty sixty nine, and my name is Wilt Chamberlain. <laughs> it just always has been ever since the MST movie. Whenever it's like, whenever it's like, put in a first name and a last name, 
I just the first time I had to do that, and I'm like, I don't want to put my real name in here. I just heard uh -oh. Wilt Chamberlain in my head. I'm like, okay, perfect. Oh no. Oh no. The walls are closing in. Um. Oh, we're gonna burn them. I bombo. I... There we go. <laughs> Shut up. Burning man. <laughs> I don't know why, but like the, the more I keep thinking about it, I'm like, why the most really isn't that bad of a song, I guess? It's okay. Uh, it's got a good hook, which is what we keep repeating. <laughs> I, and now, like, it's no old town road. Uh, no, I mean, but it's like, part of me wants to look that up and listen to it. And and I don't normally say that about any Enrique Iglesias songs. It's it's just one of those things that gets referenced a lot. I guess. <laughs> Well, Africa gets referenced a lot, and I, yeah, I legitimately does. like that song. Oh, it's a good song. Mm -hmm. Oh, whoops. I, 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 still had the, I, still, I still had the Lens of Truth equipped. Um, but, then I, but then I think about it more, and I'm like, that just reminds me of that time my mom was really into Ricky Martin. Ugh. And, um, okay. like, she had that, that Look, I, his know, album. I, I retract my, uh, I have no room to criticize anyone. Uh... What is that fluorescent green that you keep having in here? That's the floor master. I have no room to attack anyone's uh, and musical uh, To be fair. References. To be fair. Musical Ricky Martin did do some good stuff. It's just that the the one thing he's known he was known for at first was living La Vida Loca. Is this and what, what I do I do a spider? Yeah. Um I think it's in one of the pots. Um, oh, that would make sense. Well, let me, let me check behind the pots, that's where it was before. Oh, it's louder here. Oh, oh that's right there. there. Okay. Please, no, I have the reincarnation of Orson Welles. Oh, there's another one. No, that, that the that's, that's, that's the mechanism. Just go to Orson Hell. <laughs> We will kill no spiders before their time. I I gotta get a handle before we get on Twitch. I gotta get a handle on this laughing at my own jokes problem. Y'all heard it right there. I was I was even like subtle about it. I was like, <laughs> I'm fucking goofy here. Gosh, I made a joke, Mickey. <laughs> Your son might like that though. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. He like he likes the I, Disney. He does. He, he does. does he, I'm he, glad he, that he does. He'll, I, he'll grow out of that one. Day. That'll be sad. And then he'll grow back into it because these that's... kids, though, man, I'm telling you, when by the time they get old, we're gonna have nice. We're gonna have a game console that has no arrows. buttons. Like the thing, like my kid plays. This, you've heard of Roblox? Yes. My kid plays Roblox. And they have these things called obbies. They're obstacle courses that your little character like maneuvers through, and there are usually like checkpoints after every series of obstacles. And the point is just to to go through them or whatever. Well, yeah, that's what obstacle courses are for. There's shit you can do just with tapping and scrolling the screen. Like I'm trying to like follow him, play Roblox with him. It's insane. These kids, they're gonna like grow up without like. Playing video games without buttons. It's weird. Well, good for them. I mean, he also plays Cuphead, so. Yeah. Yeah, my kid is better than video game reviewers at Cuphead. Lots of people are better than video game reviewers at Cuphead. I mean, I haven't played Cuphead. I can assure you I am better than most video game reviewers than Cuphead, at Cuphead. Oh! Those groups. Oh, we didn't get anything from this. It's a rainbow coalition of rupees. Hey, we already have the maximum. Yeah. There was nothing in there. What the fuck? Yeah. That... Oh, I thought I thought that was a redead doing push-ups. <laughs> I was so confused. Well, when we get to Majora's Mask eventually, we'll see redeads dancing. Yeah, but that's still less weird than them doing push-ups. Like... Oh, God. Oh. Is this just where they tortured people in Hyrule? Probably. Gre what, what was it? The, greed greed and, and hatred. Greed and hatred, man. 
Oh, if I turn the lens off, it goes away. Well, it's because if I if I have the lens on, I can't use combos. And that's the easiest way to kill these things. You know, I I'll be charitable. Okay. This could be the BDSM room, and that could be ketchup from lunch break. I'm not gonna judge. It's possible. <laughs> That's the nicest thing I used. Is it's possible this room wasn't used to break Zora prisoners in the uh, <laughs> in the war between in the racial holy war that engulfed Eiffel. King Zora never got over that. I'm telling you, the most unrealistic thing about Hyrule is that in any like in any realm where we're dealing with real like prejudiced human people. Uh, we either have been at war with the Zora and the Gorons, or they would basically just be client states of the Hyrulean Empire. And they just kind of have their own stuff, don't they? Yeah, but we wouldn't let them be. <laughs> when has an empire ever let, uh, ever let a foreign nation with with copious resources? I mean, maybe okay, maybe the Zora just don't have shit. You know, maybe they suck. I what mean, do the Gorons king, have? Their king does sit on like a window ledge. The Gorons have rocks. The Gorons you have know bombs. They make bombs. They make bombs. They make the best explosives. The best. <laughs> Trump all of a sudden. They make the best explosives. Um. Oh jeez. And I'm sure they have all sorts of uh, natural minerals and natural minerals. Artisanal. Oh yeah, you okay. need your uh, flowy floaty boots. Oh. I was I was just actually checking to see if we had gotten the skull list, which we have. Nobby's like, Link, you'll never make it across these gaps without your hover round. <laughs> Navi, I can make it to the Grand Canyon. Oh, thank goodness I have my hover round. Alright, what are we fighting here? Um, we're fighting. Oh, I like how we hover for a second in the cutscene. Yep. That's good. The trampoline of greed and hatred. <laughs> oh, this is just the guy from Mario 64. Oh, no. Okay, he's got a body. <laughs> okay. I don't think it's a coincidence that this level starts by saying it's going to tell you the true history of greed and hatred in Hyrule, which means colonialism. And then the bad guy is named Bongo Bongo. Y'all. <laughs> you know what? Forget it. I'm not. I'm just gonna say they had Andross on the screen. Oh. Nintendo does love their two giant hands. Yeah, you're, you're talking about like the. Um... But the in the pyramid in Mario 64, right? Yes, and Andros and Master Hand from fucking Smash Bros. Um, they love that. Shit. Oh, wasn't there something like that in Mario Odyssey? Yes, there's a. I, although I just thought that was just a red fucking pyramid. There's a, a big stone like a like a uh, like a like a Inca head that has two big stone fists. Yeah, Nintendo loves that shit. Well, I guess in this case it can be considered unsettling. Oh, well, this is disturbing, sure. Is this supposed Not to be like as the disturbing as the, the greed and hatred of the Hyrulean Empire. That's the same thing. Oh, he's dead already. Damn, that Vigoron sword does the fucking trick, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm glad that I have that because otherwise I'd be like, oh, I'm dead and I don't have a fairy. Man. How do you think he lost his hands? torture chamber. I'm telling you. Oh, what the fuck? Is he dead? Is that it? Oh, yeah, this was the, like, the ant thing. The ant guy. Oh, okay. The ants. Oh, he was the ant guy! I forgot that from, like, four videos ago. Yeah. He was the, the plague of ants. That was, like, two weeks ago. Maybe we were all good that. friends. All those ants. And we got a heart container. Hooray! I'm probably going to go out of my way to get some potions before I forget to again. What happens if you just jump off the bongo here? It goes in, like, like, hurdy acid water. Oh, hurdy acid water. 
Tonight's episode of Squeeze World Gaming is is sponsored by Hurdy Acid Water. <laughs> when you want someone to hurty and you can't use regular water, use Hurdy Acid Water. Fizzy Acid Water. <laughs> Fizzy Acid Water. Here's someone we haven't seen in a while. Oh, it's Impa! The boy with the noble Zelda's Ocarina! As I expected, you have come! Boy, boy. I forgot that that was the boy. I am Impa, one of the Sheikah. I told you this already, but I'm gonna say it again. I'm not gonna laugh. I'm, I'm Princess Zelda's laugh. caretaker, and I am also the sage who guards the Shadow Temple from the I'm ants. I'm getting better about laughing. We Sheikah have served the royalty of Hyrule from generation to generation as attendants. However, on that we have day, perfect attendance. <laughs> on that day, seven years ago, Ganondorf suddenly attacked, and Hyrule Castle surrendered after a short time. Ganondorf's target was one of the keys to the sacred realm, the hidden treasure of the royal family, the Ocarina of Time. Luckily, you got it for some reason. My duty bound me to take Zelda out of Ganondorf's reach. Was your duty also to look like you're ready to go jogging at all times? Yes! When I last saw you, was we made our escape from the castle, you were just a lad. Now I see that you have become a fine hero. I guess. I mean, I'm alright. <laughs> There's nothing to worry about. The princess is safe now. Soon, you'll meet Princess Zelda face to face. And hell! And she will explain everything, so I don't have to anymore. That is, when we, the Six Wise Ones, will seal up the evil king and return peace to Hyrule. Like in Undertale. I have to stay here. You go to Princess Zelda's side and protect her on my behalf. Now I put my power, which should be you helpful to you, into this medallion. Yay! We got the purple medallion. Always good. This is our six month AA coin. <laughs> um, we got the shadow medallion. Please look out for the princess. I love how she's like, look out for the princess. We don't know where the fuck the <laughs> She's right behind is. you. Look out. <laughs> look out for the princess. She's not good at looking where she's going. She's about to boil you. Bo Bowl you over. Bowl you over. What's up with me? So. Now we have the floaty shoes of no friction with the ground. Uh, we don't need those on right now, so I'm going to take them off. Why does Link look like? Pause it again. Okay. Link looks like he's at, like, glamour shots. <laughs> he should have that, like gray and like black streak like backdrop behind him that was in all of those <laughs> you know he's ready for prom no i think he's he, ready for homecoming i think it, i think it should um instead it should be like the that that 80s 90s like laser background yes cool that's, photos. that's exactly what i was what i should have been thinking of i love whenever that's referenced i think it's so funny Oh, don't like you want to give the crackhead by the boxes something? Um, something to chew on. He'll actually buy stuff from you. Like you give like like like, like bottled stuff. Like you like you have, you have bottled bugs. Like he'll give you like fifty rupees. Now for that shit. is obviously Furio <laughs> with that hair. <laughs> There's a bee on your hat. <laughs> Stupid <a> fucking game. <laughs> oh, we can buy fairies. I'll just do that because I don't feel like walking. I like how Furio was just kind of written out, too. I can't even remember what happened to Furio. Um, he had the hots for Carmella. Yeah, no, I remember that part. Um, oh, I just have an infinite supply of fairies. He ju he, he, I just have them all tied up in the back in a line. He just kind of left between seasons, and it's implied that, like, um, because Tony found out about it, like, he's after him now, and, like, they have people in Italy looking for him. Oh, okay. Which kind of sucks because Furio is another one of my favorite characters. Oh, yeah, no, absolutely. He's he's so good. Uh, 
I'll get three fairies and a blue, green potion. What I think does the blue do. fire do? It melts red ice. Oh, okay. We had a whole dungeon dedicated to that. That's right. I was just wondering, I'm like, that. it looks like the blue candle from Zelda 1, and it costs 300 rupees. Oh my god, it does. I think that's what it's a reference to, most likely. Was you did you buy the blue candle? Um, yeah, you bought the blue candle. It was sixty rupees, uh, and then you found the red candle in a dungeon. In a dungeon. Oh, or a level, I think, as the as the NES game called them. Level one, level two. I mean, there are some games like like um, the the Game Boy games called them levels, but they're dungeons. Well, I mean, to be fair, that I mean that dungeon, the Shadow Temple, we just went through, is, is pretty much the only dungeon I could that we could been in so far that I could conceivably see you keeping a prisoner in, which was the function of a dungeon. And that's only because it has a place to, you know, torture somebody. Sometimes in some of the games they're called palaces. I guess to, to... that's fair. These are more. These are all. These are all temples, though. Oh yeah. We have one more, right? One more. It's the Spirit Temple. It, that's in Gerudo Land, right? Yep, that's where we're going next. I'm sorry, it's actually Gerudo. It's, it's Geraldo. <laughs> it, like, it's like Jif. It's Gerudo. That's, that's actually my Exhibit A against, from now on, against people who want to tell me it's pronounced Jif. Screw you. <laughs> Jordan calls them GIFs. It is not GIF. <laughs> what is wrong with you people? GIF is a damn peanut, peanut butter, butter brand. The, and that is spelled with a J, by the by. When you tell somebody, I'll be there in a GIF. It's J-I-F-F. -F. Yep. It's not, I'll be there in a GIF. That's when you, you, you take a short video of the person there and turn it into a GIF. <laughs> yeah. I'll be there in a GIF. It's, I'll be there, comma, in a GIF. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Nah, I'm just, I'm just reminded of um, punctuation is important. When, 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 around when this game came out, when we were younger, and I was obsessed with it, and I was make, I made like a, uh, a really, like, shitty parody version, like in a notebook or whatever, and I called it Geraldo Valley, and like all, instead of Gerudos, it was like inhabited by a bunch of Geraldo Rivera. Was, was this shown to me? I believe so. I feel like I remember this. Yeah. I'm oh, just... from like way we back. Were, we were in eighth grade yeah, I mean, it, we, when this came this, out. This, yeah, I was like, this came out in 97, so. Or was it 96? It was 98. 98? Mm -hmm. I was double bugged. I wrote a couple of the smells here already. Uh, so now we're going to go to a stealth section. But yeah, I've mentioned this before, but uh, oh, so go, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I keep it on. I'm sorry. It's okay. Uh, it's a it's a stealth section I've done like plenty of times, so I'm okay yeah, with it shit. by this point. Though, like, no no shit. The first time I went through this game, like I couldn't figure out a lot of it because I'm not good with stealth, and I think I was stuck in this for at least a couple of months. Really? Yeah. I only the, I, I was only able to uh, to finish it because you finished it for me. Oh, I was such a nice friend. Oh God, the pain! Yeah, you were such a nice friend. Hey, <laughs> I kid, uh, I kid. Um, stupid kid. Stupid kid. Um, yeah, I've mentioned this before, but I got this and uh, Rogue Squadron uh, the same same Christmas morning. That was a hell of a Christmas. Ocarina of Time and Star Wars Rogue Squadron. Yeah, I got this, I think. You really can't beat that when you're like a 12 year old kid. Um, I got this, because I got my I got my N64 that following January. Mm -hmm. And then I got, uh, my mom bought me Ocarina of Time like a few months later. This is like the second game I ever owned. The first one was Diddy Kong Racing. Hmm. The third one was Mario 64. Uh, I was going to say the first N64 game I ever owned was Mario 64. 
Now, they made the mistake of throwing me in the little dungeon um, with all of my shit. <laughs> so... Yeah, they didn't even search you. These aren't very good thieves. They're not. Hey, you young man over there. I can't think of voices anymore. I'm, I'm losing my touch. Look over here inside the cell. I have no idea where you come from. But you must have a lot of guts to make it past all the guards around here. All of my fellow carpenters are imprisoned somewhere in here. If you can get us out of here, we'll repay the favor somehow. But be careful. There are sure to be Gerudo guards somewhere around here. Woo, watch out. I said to give him two things there. Uh, a voice and an annoying vocal tick of going, uh, of phrasing all of his, the end of his lines like they're a question. Oh, okay, she just left. Yeah. That's pretty much how that uh, always turns out. And we freed him. Yeah. Hooray. I think if we, yeah, I don't, I don't know if we talked to, I don't think we talked to the, the head carpenter who's near the, the, the tent, but he says all of his... All of his carpenter people are, are imprisoned. Oh. Okay. Because they wanted they thought that it would be a cool thing. They wanted you know, to get some babes. We were really interested in joining their all female group, but they locked us up like this just because we're men. Oh, misandry. <laughs> we don't care about the Gerudo anymore. They're so rude. War on men. <laughs> Traditional masculinity is under attack by an all female gang of Gerudo babes. You know, they could identify as female. They didn't know. I'm just saying. This, I'm just glad that Hyrule doesn't have box moves. <laughs> let's just be... Let's just have a moment of, of gratefulness. Because Ganon would get his fingers in that. You know he would. <laughs> Alrighty. Snake. Try to remember the basics of sword fighting. Carpenters. Yes, Snake. They tried to join the all-female gang, <laughs> but were turned away because of their male genitalia. Carpenters. Okay, I don't think they can see me over here. Really sure I want to go up this way? <laughs> Snake, have you ever seen female prisoner Scorpion? It's a 1970s Japanese movie starring Meiko Kaji. It also stars an all-female gang of criminals. Mm, no gear. Damn! <laughs> Damn, she dead! No, she's fine. See? She's dead! She's fine. She's got fine. glowy things coming out of her head. You murdered that Gerudo in cold blood. She didn't even... She's she wasn't fine. even attacking you. She was on patrol. She was pressing Hey, young me. man, look over here inside the cell. I have no idea where you <laughs> come from, but you must have a lot of guts to make it past all the guards around here. It's the same line. Oh, it's the same lines? I'm not going to say them twice. Fuck that <laughs> shit. His hair's nice, though. He does. He has good hair. He has a nice... Like, he's got a... He, he could pull that up into a pompadour really easily. Um, and I don't know if that's a mustache or just his lip. I think but... it's a mustache. It could be both. I don't know. This shit is so much easier with the bigger on sword. Holy cow. Yeah, I don't know what was wrong with me as a kid because I'm like, I'm just going to keep using the master sword because I can have the shield out. No. <laughs> no. You always use a two-hander. There you go. Thank goodness that Gerudo uh, guard popped in with the key to be beaten right at the right moment. Yeah, it's a mustache, but his mouth is open. Please don't call me a cute kid. I am eight. Kinda. Two of my buddies are still being held prisoner. I like how he knows that we freed the other guy from his cell. He heard it through the grapevine. Oh, okay. Not they're, they're actually all telepathic. How they they it, are, they're 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 quadruplets. It's they're kind of like it's like that psychic thing that they're a hive mind. Have. 
all Hylian carpenters are a hive mind. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and cut the video here because the timer's going off now. They have a unification government. So, uh, when we come back, uh, more um, remembering the uh, basics of CQC. So, uh, until then, I've been Rado Goji. And I'm Sorlin Greg. We'll be here next time. Join us, won't you?